Salute, salute, salute. Thanks for tuning in. Um, Y'all hit the like button, ring the doorbell and all that good stuff. Don't forget about my Patreon and Discord. Let's get into it. This is part two of the sack video. This will be the sacks that were uh, given up by the backups, the sacks that were Dak's fault, and the sacks that were not on us. And all, all this is my opinion. All this is my opinion. Um, We got four sacks that are not us. Now, we're only going to show three because one was... uh. It didn't have the coaches film. It was just broadcast view. And I'm not trying to get hit by the uh, by the Illuminati there. So we're only going to show the three that we have coaches film for. Um, the, the, the one, two, three, four. Yeah, five for Dak Prescott. One on Joe Looney. One on Sue Philo, Three from Cam Fleming. All right. We're going to start with Cam Fleming. And Cam Fleming, man, sometimes watching Cam just makes me... I just get sad. Man, I just get sad watching Cam Fleming. But, yeah, it, it is what it is. <laughs> That's one. Here's another Cam Fleming play. He's your left tackle here. We're going to take a look at Cam. Yeah, boy, I just, that's, that's Cam Fleming there. That's, that's Cam Fleming. Yep. That, uh, you know, Leo kind of got worked a little bit too. Um, but, yeah. No. Dak probably could have stepped up in the pocket. <laughs> but, you know, Cam Fleming. <laughs> Next. And we got the last one here from Cam Fleming. He's the left tackle, and he, uh, yeah, he kind of get overpowered there too. So yeah, that's just that man. I don't want to watch Cam Fleming no more. Uh, we have Xavier Suofilo giving up his one sack for the year. Shouts out to Xavier Suofilo. Uh, you know he and he did well. He didn't kill you when he wasn't terrible when he filled in uh, for uh, Connor Williams. The handful of games Xavier Suofilo did play. So. I'm not gonna hate him there, but this is him getting uh getting overpowered here. And I thought Xavier Suofilo didn't get overpowered. That seems to be the the notion in the streets that you know that he's big and strong. He just don't move well. Well, he doesn't move well, uh, but he does get you know picked up and put down just like everybody else. So that's Xavier Suofilo. <laughs> and listen, watch this. I was ready to hate on Xavier Suofilo so bad because that's just what I do. I thought this was him getting smoked, but this is actually Joe Looney here. So, so Philo gave up one sack last year, and Joe Looney gave up a sack too. But Joe got whooped so bad, I thought it was I thought it was so Philo. I'm like, oh, Joe, <laughs> don't let that happen to you no more. Come on, Joe, what are you doing? <laughs> get, get back on your feet, get off the ground, Joe. Boy, Joe got smoked so bad. But anyway, those are the backup guys. Now, I would like to focus a little bit more, and there will be a little more commentary and analysis on the the next uh, eight plays. That'll be the Dak Prescott faults and the plays that were not our fault. When I say plays that aren't our fault, I mean, um, I mean, um, you know, like like a. So when I say plays that aren't our fault, I'm talking from an offensive lineman's perspective. I like I'm talking to y'all like an old line coach. So uh, when I say not our fault, I mean somebody that ain't the offensive line uh, who got Dak Prescott sacked. And this is a prime example over here. Let's just take a look. Uh, I believe this is Jason Witten and Blake Jarman getting smoked. Eighty six. That's Dalton Schultz. Yeah. So this is um, Jason Witten and Dalton Schultz kind of getting smoked right here. So you know that's a thing. Um, Zeke, yeah, Zeke got his block, cool. I right, yeah, and um, somebody rolled up Leo Connors. What happened to Leo Connors? Yeah, Zeke just tripped over Leo Connors. All right, cool. But yeah, yeah, this is uh, this is considered not us because uh, hey, Jason Witten and Dalton Schultz, Dalton Schultz got smoked. So I consider this to be a not versus us uh, or a other type situation because first of all, it's less than than four seconds. It's not really giving Dak a. Uh, you know, true, like a true chance to, you know, get the ball out or whatever, you know what I mean? But once Dak got his eyes up, like Blitz was coming. Now, what made me kind of look at it or whatever, like you could put this on Zeke. Zeke did uh, block 32, but um, I would imagine that, it, you know, it'll be better for Zeke to block the more inside guy. And 42 would be the more inside guy. And, you know, could that have freed Dak up an extra second to make a play? It possibly could have. But either way, this wasn't on us. This wasn't on the offensive line at all. So this is why I had this written down in other. While I consider this to be an other play, uh, let's take a look at it. We're going to get a play action. But not only that, we're going to get a rollout, right? So Dak is rolling out. And instead of throwing the ball in traffic or whatever, he just – kept it and just tried to make something positive out of you now is this considered a sack sure it's considered a sack and the closest person is going to get the sack but uh do i hate the play i mean i'm not i don't really hate it i mean could dak have thrown the ball away sure um you know 
would we have possibly gotten more yards if he would have attempted to tuck and run? Maybe. So I think it just comes down to a. Hey, it was just the. It was just the decision that that Dak made or whatever but am I really blaming Dak in the way that hey Dak you're holding the ball too long and you got yourself sacked no I'm not putting this on Dak Prescott I mean it's just it's it's just pretty covered downfield and um he just had nowhere else to go with the football so I don't mind not putting this on Dak Prescott and those are my three other plays and the next one two three four five the next five plays are going to be on Dak and I would consider those plays where Dak holds the ball too long or longer than four seconds so we got this one, <clears throat> and sure, Dak is going to do the play action here. And what makes the play action different on this play is that he didn't roll out on this play like he did um, in the uh, last one or whatever. But I just think this is Dak holding the ball long. And and one thing I will say that, that kind of makes me feel better about this is that when Dak does kind of get sacked and it's his fault um, – you know, it is kind of like a coverage thing, but it happens from him moving around in the pocket trying to make things happen. Now, on this play, he fumbled. Do I want him to fumble? Hell no. We can't have that. But um, if you're going to get sacked trying to make things happen because nothing is open downfield, I can't hate you for that. But this is what I consider a sack to be uh, Dak Prescott's fault. How about this? We got Dak Prescott versus the uh, Chicago Bears. This is two out of five. Let's see what happens here. Um, he's going to catch the ball. Boom, boom, boom. Snap. Here we go. It's kind of holding it, and it turns into a, yeah. I think Dak would have been fine if he'd have just stayed there. If he'd have just stayed in the pocket and didn't, like, scramble out, then Dak would have been fine. But he kind of scrambled himself into this sack and got chased down by Khalil. So I put this on Dak. Let's take a look at this play. Let's see what happens here. Holding the ball, holding the ball. We're going to hold. Yep. Yep. I don't, I, I, you, you, Dak should fix that too because on the look on all these I held the ball long plays the ball ended up on the ground I, I don't I don't want that that's that's something we need to work on that's something we need to fix but yeah this is absolutely on Dak holding the ball long da 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 um hey just on you hey either throw the ball away get it down to a check down guy or go run it do something but don't get sacked. I'm not going to give Dak too hard of a time because last year on his own accord, I think he got sacked like 10 times or something. I think 10 was on Dak. So even he got better in his sack uh, in his sack production or whatever. Cam Fleming, I kind of wanted to put this on Cam Fleming getting beat, but um, it, it was just, you know, Dak was in the pocket, you know, for longer than, longer than four seconds or whatever. So, you know, Cam just made it. Even though Cam got smoked, but Cam lasted longer than four seconds. So uh, I got to put this on Dak here too. Let's show the last one so we can get a bite in. And this is one I put on Dak Prescott. This was when he got sacked by Taco, I think. And, yep, Dak, Dak absolutely holding the ball too long, just holding on to it. I think this came from a luxury of um, of just being against a team that's just better than him, you know what I mean? And, you know, just hanging on to the ball here, got him sacked. He didn't have to roll out of nothing. Like, he was <laughs> he was good to go. He was just holding that thing, man. He was trying to pull that, uh, what was that game, uh, when Romo was against the uh, Giants and they put the big counter up on Sunday Night Football and – Tony had the ball for like 12 seconds. I think Dak wanted to pull one of these off. But, um, yeah, Dak got himself sacked here. But, hey, as a whole, the team got better. The team got better in terms of, um, of you know, our quarterback being put on the ground. So I'm all about improvement, man. Let's get even better next year so we'll have even less sacks. And uh, hopefully we figure out a way to win some Dak on football games. You hear me? All right. So uh, that'll be all, man. That'll be all for me. Um Hey, look out for the next video. You got to hit the, you know, hit the, uh, the uh, doorbell so you know when I drop these random videos in the, in the middle of the week just like this. So uh, stay tuned for my draft content. And y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski and Peace Kweeski, man. Salute. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay $200 plus a month. I paid $120 a year, or you can go $15 a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get 2,500 HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV Guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi-screen features, so if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time. That you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, Smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. 
Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels4cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it.